Today, I'm gonna share the best plugins for Adobe Premiere Pro. This includes fancy title templates, complex animations, basic graphics, and a huge variety of transitions. All the plugins in this video can be found on the AE Juice website. I'm usually pretty skeptical when it comes to plugins. As you know, I like to do everything myself completely from scratch, just so that I can easily customize things. But AE Juice was kind enough to give me access to their library, and after browsing through all the options they have available, I have to admit I'm kind of impressed. I'll definitely be using some of these plugins in my future videos. There's no way I can possibly show you all the plugins included in the I Want It All bundle, so I'm just gonna show you some of my top favorites. I do get a commission on each sale, so make sure you click on my affiliate link in the description below if you're interested in checking out any of these plugins. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin. Cineguac. The cool thing about all the plugins from the AE Juice website is that they can be used in both After Effects and Premiere Pro. I'll only focus on Premiere, since that's mainly what I do on this channel, although feel free to comment below if you want me to do another video on how to use these plugins in After Effects. Anyway, let's start with titles. The moment you install the AE Juice extension, you can easily access all the plugins by simply going to Window, Extensions, and you'll see the AE Juice Pack Manager right here. This will open the AE Juice extension program, which lists not only the items you've purchased, but a bunch of free plugins as well. I won't go into detail about the free plugins, but there's actually an absurd amount of really cool animated graphics, liquid effects, title animations, all for the price of nothing. Anyway, let's go back to the Purchased tab, and I'll show you some title plugins. Let's click on Title Collection, and here you can browse for days, just seeing all the options they have. As you see, it gives you a preview of what each plugin looks like, but if you want to pause that function, you can just come down here and hit the pause button. That way it will only play when you hover your mouse over each plugin. So let's go ahead and select this one and hit import. Once it's done importing, we can close out this window for now. And you'll see we now have this title plugin on our timeline. So now we just want to change the text so that it says whatever we want it to say. Let's double click on the video layer, and you'll see the Essential Graphics tab appear on the right. Here we can type in whatever we want. Let's write Cineguac. We can change the font. And down here we can change the box colors. So let's change this to our classic Cineguac colors, pink and green. And of course we can come up here and increase the size if we want to. Play that all back. And we now have this beautiful title animation. And that was done in what, like less than a minute? Another really cool title animation included in this pack are neon titles. So let's go ahead and open up the pack manager again. And browse until you find the neon title pack. I absolutely love these. They look so professional and the fact that all you have to do is type in your text and you're done, it's really quite amazing. Anyway, let's go ahead and select this one. And now we can go about customizing the same way we did the last plugin. Just double click, if it's not already open. And right here in the Essential Graphics panel, we can change the text to whatever we want. We can change the color, the position, the rotation, the sizing. Honestly, the amount of customization you can do here is endless. There's so many other title templates in this pack, but I don't want this video to be like five hours long, so I'll just stop here and move on to some of the video effects that are offered. One of my favorite plugins included is the broken glass effect. So as you can see, I have this clip of my stunning wife, Victoria. I must have said something infuriating because she is screaming at me. In fact, she's screaming so loudly that the glass on my camera lens could shatter. So let's go ahead and open up the broken glass effect in the pack manager and select this one. Import this into the project. And you'll see we now have this glass break effect. It even includes a glass shatter sound effect. They currently have a placeholder here, which we want to replace with our own footage. So let's go to the essential workspace. And right here where it says glass breaking placeholder, 
we can simply just drag and drop our footage directly into the placeholder area. And just like magic, the effect is automatically applied to the footage. And if you want to adjust the settings for this effect, like when the footage begins, the timing of everything, the rotation, opacity, etc., you can toggle these values right here. Another great collection of effects is the newspaper bundle. If we open this up, you'll see there's a ton of templates here. Some have moving images, which you can apply your own video footage to in the exact same way we applied our own footage in the broken glass effect earlier. And you can also type in your own text. So just to make things super simple, let's go ahead and select this one. And once that's on the timeline, we can open the Essential Graphics workspace. And here we can customize the text we want. There we go. Now this effect has a lot of complex graphics and animations, so it might take a long time to render. But once it's done rendering, you'll have this absolutely stunning animation which is perfect for documentaries in particular. Let's move on to some of the transitions included in this bundle. One of my favorites, which I definitely see myself using in music videos at some point in the future, is the glitch transition. So as you can see, I have three pieces of footage on my timeline. Right now there's a hard cut between each clip, and I want to add a cool glitch transition. So let's go to our pack manager, scroll down to glitch transitions. There's so many glitch transitions to choose from, but let's go ahead and pick this one. Import. You'll see you now have this glitch element right on your timeline. So let's position this right above our cut. And we can scale this if we have to, just to match the dimensions of our timeline. And then with the glitch layer selected, head over to Effect Controls, and under Opacity, drop down this menu and select Lighten. Play that through, and we now have this cool glitch transition. It even comes with a sound effect and everything. And we can go ahead and repeat this process for the other cut. Let's select a different one this time. And just go ahead and do the exact same thing. Play that all back, and there you have it. Lastly, I want to show you the shape elements that are included. A lot of these are included in the free starter pack, but you get way more in the I Want It All bundle. So let me drag my Cineguac logo right onto the timeline. And we can shorten this a little bit. And let's first apply a little animation ourselves. So with this clip selected, let's set a keyframe to zero. And another one to the approximate size we want just a few frames later. And then a third keyframe right around this size. And then let's add the auto bezier so that it smooths out the movement. Play that all back and we have this very simple pop-up animation. Now what I want to do is add some fancy shape animation as it appears. So let's open the pack manager and go to shape elements and just browse around until you find something you like. This looks like it would work. Let's import. And now we have this shape animation that we can place anywhere we'd like. So let's position this at the point where the Cineguac logo pops onto screen. And then we can adjust the size so that it perfectly circles the logo. And lastly, we can go to the Essential tab. And using this eyedrop tool, we can match the green color of my logo. From here, you can micro-adjust the timing of things, when it pops onto screen, the spacing between keyframes, etc. Play that all back, and there you have it. Again, I've barely even scratched the surface of all the possibilities in this bundle. I mean, just browsing through here, there is way more transitions, radical retro, glitch effects, film noise, light leaks, cartoon comic pack, and even audio visualizers. Cineguac. There's even a bunch of sound effects included. As mentioned earlier, I get a commission on each sale, so make sure you click on my affiliate link in the description below if you're interested in checking out any of these plugins. I really appreciate the support, and I will see you all next time.